I'm going to show you a graph of RimWorld Entertainment, okay? RimWorld Entertainment kind of does this, okay? So RimWorld Entertainment peaks and valleys kind of look like this. All right, and then you have a baseline. This is the baseline right here. RimWorld Entertainment for me is very consistent. It's very good. Um, you know, in the consistency in the RimWorld Entertainment, a lot of it comes from the way the storyteller generates things with a certain level of frequency. The, this is like the boring parts where nothing's happening, something exciting happens. You know, then you spend a little bit of time here, something boring, something exciting, something boring. Here's this thing, right? This is what this is what RimWorld looks like. Uh R. Here's the thing with with Dwarf Fortress. Dwarf Fortress is more like this. You have longer peaks. You have longer time, generally speaking, between the entertaining things that happen. But but the things that are happen are way more entertaining. You see what I'm saying? The RimWorld happens frequency, but, but in a very narrow band of entertainment. Dwarf Fortress happens less frequently, but the things that happen are more entertaining, generally speaking, than the things that happen in RimWorld. 